Right then, this is my my dad's old glider. It was named the Tiger Shark, though he's not sure what the original name was. He thinks it might have been a Zeus. Uh, and I've been refurbishing it, rebuilding it for the last, oh crikey, several months. And um, it's been completely recovered, not fantastically, but the old covering was this sort of textured material, which was quite heavily glued on, quite heavy, and it uh, needed to get it off because quite a few uh, the panels on the inside were damaged and broken. So they'd uh, been involved, uh, involved in a bump back in the 1980s. Uh, so a lot of that was all repaired through here. And it's got a brand new uh, tailplane on there. Um, but some, quite a lot has been done to it. Um, the old uh, servos have been taken out. And I've put new ones in where the little car to sort of house them. Um, one of the big things that's changed originally we had a, what was called a route driven system so you had a one servo that was tied into both the rudder and the ailerons and it had these two metal bars that came down through the wing and sort of rotated these sort of full length ailerons problem with that is you had a lot of movement down near the fuselage and very little movement near the end and I think that used to get quite a lot of flutter as a, as a result so not fully recovered as yet, but I have cut a section out from the wing and put in a more modern system with a servo to dry the ailerons, which work quite nicely. And that's been done for both wings, so obviously I need to do a little bit more covering. And I have a back form that I need to trim to create a little bit of protection because the issue with this particular type of glider, it's a low wing. So when you do come in to land, the, uh, the reality is you're probably very likely to clout the servo arms. So that's been thought about, and uh, get this little chappy up as well. You can see a little bit more inside the glider. Here, if I can get him up. Yeah, there we go. So you can sort of see inside to the the old structure. So it's quite a, a beautiful shape, this one. And um, really looking forward to to flying it when it gets to an appropriate uh, landing field with enough area to land it safely. Um, what I might do is reinitiate uh, the hook, uh, put that back on the underside, and actually buy myself a high start or a bungee, and um, start getting that type of flight on the go. So I haven't done that for a very, very long time. So that would be all kinds of cool. I do love some of the old uh, build quality on these these plans. So there's really secure cockpit fitting through there. And I've popped on a couple of a couple of stickers as you can see. Nothing incredible. But really looking forward to flying it once more. I think the crikey when was the last time it flew? Nineteen eighty five? Something like that. Um so it should be good. It stripped a lot of weight out of it as well. So yeah, that's that. And looking around the garage, you can want various planes. My old uh, own design glider from back when I did my GCSEs, kicking around up there. A couple of wings, uh, flying wings, actual wings. My my DLGs, a bit bruised, but uh, I keep them repaired. <laughs>